Hello, Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Cities Skylines. Alright, I've done a little fiddling around. I've played around a little bit on my own. Not too, too much. Maybe ten minutes or so. Just to kind of get a feel for what's going on. I figured out what I was doing wrong down here for the industry section of things. Basically, or the district, uh, rather. Basically, you need to start with the district paint tool. And then you paint in a district, like so. And then you... You label it like this would be... Bam. That would be a farming industry, or an ore industry, or whatever you want. But right now, I don't want any of this stuff, so I'm going to delete it all. And it is going to be gone. We'll figure that out in a moment. But for now, we're going to deal with this. Now, there's another issue that I ran into as well. The farming industrial side of things looks pretty sweet. It looks really, really cool. Unfortunately, there's no farming housing, so as much as it would be cool to have like a bunch of little weird farmhouses or like a, a saloon or an old west town down here, it's not really going to happen the way we think it will. Over here, one of the ways, well, I did some looking up on why we have so many like worker issues and everything else. There's a few things that I learned about this, and the thing is that a lot of our buildings, if you see, are only at level one. As we get further along, let's we'll see like right now there's 12, 12 jobs for uneducated workers. Take a look at, let's see here, it's got to be at least one that is upgraded. So here we go. This one is upgraded. You see there's only three jobs for uneducated workers, six for educated and three for well-educated. So we have one over-educated worker right now, but still the jobs are filled. So what you basically need to do is level up the, I don't know if you can say overall happiness of the area, but you need to do something to make it a little bit better. And all of the industrial happiness is going, it's just right now we're really, really lacking on workers. So another thing they mentioned was that you just simply don't have enough residents. And there's no easy or quick way to fix that because, well, if you think about it, if you move in high residential, sorry, high density residential areas, you're going to have multiple households, but apparently it's, well, allegedly it was supposed to bring in a lot of young adults. As you see here, it actually brought in quite a few adults and some teens. The young adults like to go to the university, so they're not going to jump right away to get the workforce going that you want in industrial jobs. And they seem to be the least exciting uh, jobs available, so a lot of people don't do it. And then the low density housing doesn't bring in that many people and it actually brings in a lot of kids so the residential thing is the big issue we need more and we can't always rely on the bars down here though right now we have needs for everything so we need to figure something out we need to figure something out I would like to take a look see we have a fire department kind of nearby maybe if we threw one here maybe like right in no I think this is probably the best spot maybe we'll throw it there it should allow some other build that should stop some of the fire problems there in addition I know we're a little bit low on money so we'll let the game start ticking away here for a little while guys a police station we haven't thrown a lot of police stations out and about so I think throwing one in over here might be a good idea as well so let's see where would be the best place to place a police station for the industrial side of life I think maybe there wouldn't be too, too bad. And it should raise the overall happiness of folks as well. I mean, that's the goal anyway. I think that's fine. And I might throw another police station like right here at the edge of the industrial. I mean, our people aren't really criminals, which is good. But still, a lot of Juju Magumbo is going on. And probably would be better if we handled the Juju Magumbo. In addition, we do need to get some more residential slotted in. I mean, it's just the thing that we're going to have to do. That's... Oh, there we go. Thank you. Odie mentioned this as well. Apparently, I miss a lot of things. I, I get too excited, too eager to jump into the next thing. Man, I missed a lot of stuff. What is wrong with me? You guys should laugh at me. And my... See, I don't feel like I miss these things, but apparently I do. Apparently, that is something that I do. All right, well, that should help a little bit. And if you find that your industry is really suffering, you can always delete extra office buildings and stuff like that and get more people to go and work in the industrial section. So, there is that. I'm going to throw some low-density housing in here. All the way down the board. 
the field or whatever is there. There we go. Throw it up in behind the giant sports center as well. I think that'll be okay. And hmm. I'm leaning toward putting a bunch of... Yeah, you know what? I think I will. I think I already slotted for this anyway, so might as well take advantage, right? Alright, there we go. That is all well and good. Let's take a look at our landfills. This one's a little bit full. We can uh, dump that one. This one should be just starting up. 8% full. I think we can swap these two. We'll go back on 1x here. Uh, yeah, we can swap these two. We'll stop dropping off with that one, and we'll start dropping off this one. So we'll keep cycling. It looks like our garbage problem is handled right now, and our water solutions are okay as well. It's not super great, it's not super terrible, but it, it, it is what it is, and there's a little bit less pollution than there once was. Hopefully the water purification stuff works out. Our power is still kind of working. What is going on here? Okay. Let's say that one's at like a slightly different angle than all the others. Alright, we really gotta handle the power and water issues down here though. So let's get started with that, shall we? We'll throw some water out this way. And I think I'm gonna go maybe that way. We'll go with like a little bit of an angularity here. I think that'll be okay. Throw out some angles. Throw out some angles. Alright, now where did we put the power? All the way up to here. So what I'd like to do at this point. I'm thinking I might make this just like a giant residential zone, probably all low density. So it's not going to look like a farm town, unfortunately, over here. But over here we can do just a bunch of farm industry. Um, and maybe some commercial stuff thrown in. I mean, it's not going to be great with all the low-end roads and everything, but eh, it is what it is. I don't really expect this side to grow that much. So if you guys are okay with it, I'm okay with it. So, I mean, we might be shooting ourselves in the foot a little bit in regards to how everything works, but I'm going to freeform all the roads here. I think it, uh, it adds a little bit of extra oomph to it when you're freeforming the roads in your, uh, your like, farm towny type situation. There we go. Yeah, I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all. And I think we can just bring that, like, right in. Let's see here, what are we going to do with this? Probably... I don't want to come out quite that far. Maybe at that angle, and then we can kind of curve up a bit. There we go, something like that. And then maybe we'll... Well, oops, maybe we'll do some of, uh, some of this stuff here. No, that's too much of an angle. We need just a little bit less. There we go. Something like that, maybe? And we'll throw a little bit of commercial over here because we want the people to be able to shop, you know, we don't want them to have to go all the well, I don't know. People used to go like cross town in like the farm days and the old west and whatnot, so maybe, maybe we do want that, I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna need the road to be a little bit further over. There we go. Yeah, something like that. There we go, and then we can just bring this one like straight, maybe straightish across. Not, maybe not 100% straight, but kind of straight. There we go. And then finally, we're just gonna go straight here and connect. I like it. And then, who knows? Um, let's see, we can go a little bit of an angle there. Connect that. And then we'll connect here with a, a slight angle, maybe. Yeah, that actually might be too slight of an angle, which is a rarity for me. I seem to do too harsh of angles oftentimes. Eh, let's go down a little bit. That's good. Alright, so there we are. There we are. So that's going to be a lot of residential, some commercial. We'll have a few commercial on this side, maybe a few residents as well we'll throw in. But right here we're going to have the farmland, and then over here we're going to do a big industrial side of things. Hopefully it works out. Uh, industrial side of with um, forestry. Sorry, guys. Brain was shutting down there. Uh, let's take a look real quick at the natural resources, which is not that. Where are you, natural resources? I don't know why I. Is it this? Yeah, there it is. There it is. I guess there's a little bit of forestry here, but there's kind of a heavy density forestry in this area. Okay, that's fine. And there's all the good farmland. Ooh, even further south. Like, we barely get any here. 
the fertile land. That's okay though, we'll make it work. Alright, in addition, we're gonna do some housing along of the side here. We'll do we'll do commercial here. Do commercial right along the outskirts. I think that'll be okay. And then what is this thing? Is this a power plant? Yeah, it's a coal power plant. Alright. Well, you know what? I think I should probably de zone this stuff here. Maybe throw like a big commercial district right there. We'll get rid of all these little ones down here. And what I like to do is maybe throw a landfill in here as well. It's not going to be great, obviously, but eh, it is what it is. Alright, so we'll throw that there and then maybe an incinerator right next to it. And we have the cash. Alright, so let's turn on the power here. Turn on the power, the water, and the funk. Hmm. Starting to wonder if this is a good choice. Well, the commercial needs are relatively high, so let's hope that they fill in this area over here. Alright, why is there a little money things? I don't know. It's fine. Come on, get over to the train station. Get over to the train station. Alright, well, anything horrible happening in the main city over here? No? Okay. Alright, there are people running around or roaming around on the roads. And they really have to get over here to do anything. And we still got to connect the other train station that we have to plop down and the train tracks here to make it viable. That does seem like some pretty intense turnoff, so I think the train can handle it, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Come on, spread this way. Spread this way. You can do it. Be a hero. Alright, let's see. Can we? Oh, we can't. I was hoping. I was hoping I'd be able to slot that in there, but unfortunately not. Oh, they're unhappy with that. I'm not really super caring. Sorry. Don't really care. Alright, so we need some residential down in here. We can do that. We can probably get that handled, I'd, I'd say. Alright, we'll make sure that we fill all this in. I like the, like I said, I like the marquee tool quite a bit better than the paint tool, but eh. The paint tool has its advantages as well. It's just, considering that the grid lines aren't always 100% straight, it does make it a little bit more challenging to use. Oh, we have like no workers over here, huh? Oh, we do. We have a few. That's kind of interesting. Alright, there's going to be no schools down here either. This is going to be dumb land. Sorry, guys. I'm not saying anybody who didn't go to school is stupid, because I, I think uh, there's quite a few people who never graduated from school or had to start working early. This is a lot of older people, especially. Um, and, you know, they got through life with, you know, they had to do what they had to do. There's not really much you can do about that, short of, well, what they've done. So I think we're going to have a lot of heavy traffic on this, if we grow this out real, real big. But I'm going to grow it slowly, and then we'll see if we need to address uh, issues by maybe adding another roadway in. I don't think we will. I don't think we will. Whoa, the train just went right by. That was pretty cool. I missed to see how it interacted with this, though. Which makes me a little bit sad. Alright, so we need some more water resolved issues over here, which is okay. I am okay with dealing with your watery needs. I'd be more okay if I had the exact line I was looking for. There it is. That's close. Alright, well I think that's good. That's a good start for down here. We now have power everywhere and a train station to boot, and things seem to be going pretty good at this point. So what I'd like to do now is maybe slot in some additional train tracks to connect the line, if that's possible. I mean, can we do this, like, effectively here? I mean, I guess that's okay. Yeah, that doesn't look so bad. Let's see if they decide to stop in, and I think what I'm going to do is maybe throw another one, like a, maybe a cargo terminal down here as well. Ooh, we're actually too, too close to the tracks here. Hmm. Well, if I would have known that, hmm. I might have to readdress this main road here then. I think I will. I think I'm going to readdress the road. Sorry, guys. The road has changed. Let's see if we can slot in. Like, how close do I have to be, I wonder? 
Like, I could probably get to there. Alright, so let's see if we can't get the road fixed, shall we? Alright, we're gonna go, like, maybe this way a little bit? No, so that's actually worse. So we're going to do something like that. It's going to look a little weird. I realize, guys, it's fine, though. It's fine. I actually kind of want this to go like straight in here. That's good. I can I can look at that. It goes this side. There we go. Like I said, roads don't have to be super duper straight, especially being on the farmland that it is, but I'd like it to be at least somewhat feasible. All right, there we go. So this will work. We just have to make sure that we can connect all of the train tracks up that we need to. And it looks like we're going to be okay with that. There we go. We'll get power there eventually. We'll throw in some more commercial needs. Or we'll fill some more commercial needs, I suppose. And zone that up all commercial style. And I guess we're going to need water down there. Oh, we already have water covering that. Alright, excellent. So that's going to happen. That's going to be our little farming community eventually. We need to get some more stuff going on down here. But I think I want to slot in some more residential if I can. And I feel like maybe, maybe doing something like this might work out. And we'll go maybe to like here. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, like that. And then we'll go in here. We'll cover all the rest of the little smaller spots here with the low density residential, which should be able to fit better. My wife did not mute her computer again, guys. If you're hearing weird messaging sounds in the background, I apologize. It's like the one thing she does that drives me more insane than anything else. Like, I would literally remove the speakers from her computer if she wouldn't have, like, a cow and try to murder me for it. It drives me nuts. I beg her, plead with her all the time not to leave it on. She's like, oh, I never leave it on. You leave it on all the time. Why do you keep turning off my speakers? Because I don't feel like pulling out your stupid keyboard to find the mute key. I just go press a button and it's over with. Deal with it. So, she's never super excited about that. Alright, we'll leave that on. Filling up. You're still fine. I guess we can have you start to fill back up as well. Yeah, we can. There we go. Alright, that's fine. I think we have the crematoriums all set and ready to go. Ooh, the police are going through the town. Or maybe that's... That's a fire department. Oh, that's an ambulance, actually. Did I ever plop down a hospital? I think I did, but I'm not... Yeah, I did. It's right there. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I had, but I wasn't 100% certain. Oh, that's sad. I can't fit that in there. Aww. All right, what I think I'd like to do as well would be maybe plop a hospital like right there. There we go. That'll that'll reach pretty far. I dug up a barrel of what? I dug up a barrel of glowing goo in my backyard. Who should I call? That's probably not good. How many people are living that close to the pollution of the industrial zone, I wonder? Shouldn't be that many people that have those problems. I mean, maybe a few. Alright, the commercial zone is still lacking workers. We need to get more stuff handled. And we need to probably run a bus line down here as well. Until we get this actually sorted out. Um... We also need to figure out how we're going to run the train line over here. And I might have to re readdress this industrial zone to fit in the train station. Because I feel like right now, oh, we can kind of make it work. I don't know how well it's going to work, but we can kind of make it work. Hmm... Well, this could be a real, a real problem here. Alright, if I throw this here... Like, I'm leaning toward wanting to put it over here, and I don't think that's viable. Hmm. I, I'm surprised it fits in this area, but I don't know how to make it work for fitting in this area. But we'll throw it there for now. And we'll see about what we need to do to make it work. And say that should have power. And it does. Oh man, this is going to be really, really weird. I might have to actually readdress my designs on this little area. Which will be okay. I don't, I don't despise that idea. But it's 
gonna be weird because I'm gonna have to like run the train line this way somehow. Hmm. It's gonna be a strange thing. Alright, let's see if we can throw in the next train station as well. This one's actually more expensive than the cargo. Oh, that is the cargo train. Oh, I had the. Yeah, yeah, this one's not gonna fit. Crap. Alright. Well, darn it. We can relocate you, right? Yeah, we can. Alright, where can I relocate you to? Let's just throw you there for right now. Um. Oh, that's gonna be rough. Um. Alright, we're gonna bulldoze a lot of stuff here, and we're gonna pause it, and we're gonna, we're gonna readdress everything here. We're gonna have to redesign stuff from the ground up, unfortunately. Yeah, it is what it is. Didn't really plan on trains. You know, who knew? Who knew? Trains would be a thing. Alright, we're gonna try to do like an off ramp that kind of curves up into this area, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. I'm not going to try to do the free form. What I'd like to do is... Maybe like... Oh, the, the, the slope is too steep, huh? Really? What, what's the deal here? Why are we having issues? Like, seriously? We can't... We can't do this? What? Hmm. There we go. Now we can do it. Okay. Yeah, something like that might work out. Okay. We're going to shrink you down to a small road. Not a dirt road. Sorry! To a small road like that. And then we're going to see if we can't connect maybe... Something like that. Yeah, there we go. Now we should be able to get the train, like, along the side here, somehow. Oh, man. Alright, let's see. What's next? Uh, this is the cargo one? Why is this not... Oh, because that's a highway. Ooh. Well, that's kind of a problem, isn't it? Alright, we need it to be not a highway, I guess. Hmm. Can we can we upgrade this back? Oh, it looks like we can. Okay. There we go. That'll work, I think. And then now maybe we can get the train in there. Oh, let's see. Is it possible? The height is too high. What does that mean? Alright, well, you know what? We're gonna bulldoze some more random stuff here. Is it, like, too uneven? I mean... This is a bit disappointing, I'm not gonna lie right now. I would very, very much like to see this actually work out, but, I mean, if it, if it can't... I, mean, I can totally understand. Alright, let's try it again. I mean, I don't know if that's a straight enough road or what. I don't know what the deal is, but... We'll keep playing around with it a little bit here. Let's see if we can't get it to fit. Oh, there it goes. It fits. Alright. So, first problem solved. Second problem... Maybe we can address by... Throwing out a thing this way. Let's see here. Maybe we'll just make this like a one-way dealie. So, let's see here. Um... have it go like that go like that and maybe we can do a curved road from there to match up I mean that's it's okay all right and then let's see can we relocate you Not enough space or money oh relocation cost is that? oh okay now right, we'll let time pass again it'll be pretty quick I mean we're making ton of cash. Alright, let's see if we can't relocate. Space is already occupied. Space is already occupied. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that can happen. Oh, they're not super happy that we moved the train, but I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. I mean, I could be totally wrong. This might be just absolute horrible planning. 
it's looking a little bit messed up. I'm not gonna lie. I might have to do a lot of pre or uh, <laughs> post planning to get this to work, but we'll see. Let's see, man, the the train track goes all the way there. Um, if I can get the train to come this way and like right in and then back out and then maybe around to this, could work. So I think what I'd like to do to start with is maybe we can start raising the track up a little bit. Oh, that kind of worked there for a minute. I don't know why this is not quite... Oh, there we go. Yeah, look at that, huh? But coming over to that is going to be a bit rough, so we'll go at 2x here for a minute. And I gotta figure out how I'm going to address this. I think we're gonna have to go and like maybe like break off this way. And we're gonna kinda have to go up and over, I think. Something like this. Right across the middle of town. And then maybe start to uh maybe throw some sort of like curve in here. Yeah, like connect it like that. There we go. It's going to look a little bit bizarre, I'm not going to lie. It's going to be a bit strange, but I think if that actually works out, all of this stuff should connect. We can get some water piped in over here. I don't hate that idea. We're going to need it anyway, eventually. Um, let's say we go down and we connect across that way, and then we... We got another pipe over here. And for now, we just need to make sure it covers that. The power will come eventually. I'll, I'll figure out how to get that to work exactly in, in the next episode. So it's looking a little bit weird. I'm doing some strange stuff, guys. It'll be okay. I can almost assure you of this. I think I'm going to try to circle the road around back this way and just have like a one giant circle, one-way road all the way around. It's going to be a bit bizarre. We're going to have to connect like underneath the bridge and other stuff. So there will be some wasted land space here. But I don't think it's going to be too, too bad. Um, I'd like to maybe throw a metro station over here. So people can come and go like from here to maybe this side of town or something. Where the high density stuff is. That's all stuff that I'm thinking of. I'll start naming districts probably in the next episode, guys. I mean, you've given me a few good names. I think the first industrial section that we're going to tag up. Or, or the district is going to be called Paradox. I really like that name. Because, well, for one, it's it's the company. Oh, oh, look, the train's coming into the... Oh, this is so cool. Look at it. Boom. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. So our little farm town, not doing super great, not doing super bad. Um, commercial, low-density commercial. Apparently, there just simply weren't enough workers. So they're probably never going to grow super huge anyway. But uh, I think we can throw in some more residential down here. And I think that I would like to do that, in fact. Oops. Sorry, guys. Bad camera movement is bad. It's okay, though. It is okay. Alright, let's get all this fixed up nice and, and, and pretty like. There we go. That's good. I like that. We have the commercial zone already set up over there. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I'm just not going to have that one square. It's never going to actually do anything. And with that, folks, I think I'm about ready to break off the episode here. So... Things are looking a little bit weird. I had to kind of do some strange craziness to make it all kind of work together. But as it stands right now, I mean, we're we're not we're not terrible. I mean, uh, sure things could be a little bit better for us, but at the same time, I, I feel like it's not really going that that poorly for us. I'd like to be able to clear the uh, the power line here. Like, I don't see a way that this can actually connect without screwing a lot of stuff up here. Can we go up even higher, maybe? Maybe that's going to be the key. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, bring it over here. Oh, 
almost we can almost make that work. And can we connect the two? That is going to be the oh we can't quite. Oh, I wish we could do it. Oh, not enough money. All right. We'll see. We might have to readdress this in a second, guys. I, I'd like to finish this up before the end of the episode. At least get our, our tracks connected in some way. All right, we might have to bulldoze some of this. Maybe make a, a little bit of a wider arc. Like before we start turning in there. Maybe from here. Okay. We'll, we'll make it work. We will definitely make it work. We come out super, hopefully super duper wide here. I'd rather not go over the landmass if I can help it. It's not too bad there. I think that should actually line up pretty nicely. We're just gonna have to get everything to stop moving on this one side, which that could be a problem, but we'll see here. Just want to finish this up before I break it off, guys. We're so close. We're so close. Why can't I? Oh, because I gotta go down more. Hmm. Let's see. What if we do that? We bring this back here. Nope. Nope. Bring this back here and we start lowering it. Can we do that? Yeah. That's not so bad. Can we lower it all the way? Like, I don't understand. That is pretty steep, though. That is pretty steep. Alright. No, no, that's not what I want. Bulldoze. Bulldoze. Here we go. Uh, no, 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 no. Alright, okay, come on. We can do this, guys. It is possible, I think. There it is. Yeah. Alright. And that is our very, very messed up train line leading everywhere throughout the city. And, yeah, it's going to be scary as heck. But I think it will work out in the end, maybe. Yeah, we'll slot in some industrial stuff next go around we'll start actually throwing out the industry side of things and yeah i think things are starting to come together rather nicely anyway folks it's gonna do it for this episode of cities and skylines hopefully you enjoyed if you did feel free to like comment subscribe and share it and i will catch you guys next time with more city skylines until then my name is bumpy mcsquiggums and i will see you later